Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to lesson 15 fluency video. Um, for this lesson, you are going to need your learn book, and you're also going to need your whiteboard, marker, and eraser. So if you don't have those, like I don't, go ahead and pause the video and get those materials. Great. So we are going to start with some um, kind of mental math, and then we'll be work going into the application problem. So we're going to start with our whiteboard. Okay. So we know there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So my question is, how many centimeters are in two meters? I'll give you a minute to write that on your whiteboard. So if 100 centimeters is in one meter, two meters is 200 centimeters. So then how many centimeters are in three meters? Write it down on your whiteboard. So three meters would be 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters, and another 100 centimeters, which would be 300 centimeters. What about eight meters? We're kind of jumping ahead to eight meters. How many centimeters are in eight meters? Write it on your whiteboard. Good, hopefully you wrote 800 centimeters with this lowercase c and a lowercase m. All right, what would go in that blank? Remember, 60 minutes in an hour. So 50 minutes plus how many minutes would equal one hour? So another way you could have written this was 50 minutes plus blank equals 60 minutes. Ran out of room for my label. Because one hour and 60 minutes are the same. And we know 50 plus 10 minutes. I shortened to min would get you to 60 minutes. All right, we're going to practice some rounding. So I have 87 and I'm going to round that to the nearest 10. So remember, if we're rounding to the nearest 10, my answer is going to have one zero at the end. So what number is 87 closest to? I'll let you think about it. If you need to draw a vertical number line, go ahead. Pause the video if you need more time. 87 rounds to 90. The seven 87 is above the halfway point of 85, so it goes up to 90. All right, we're going to round this to the nearest 100. Remember, with the nearest 100, our answer is going to end with two zeros. So 237, what does that round to? If you need more time, pause the video. 237 rounds down to 200. 237 is below the halfway point of 250. Same number, but different question. This time we're rounding to the nearest 10. When we're rounding to the nearest 10, it's just gonna be one zero. I'm going to need two digits here. 237 rounds to what? 10. Of 
Go ahead and pause the video if you need more time. 237 rounds to two rounds up to 240. Because 237 is above the halfway mark of 235. Okay. We're going to be doing some mental math for our application problem. So go ahead, open up your learn book to page 219. Page 219 in your learn book. So it's asking us to use mental math to solve these problems. Now I'm going to let you solve them however you want, but I do want you to record how you got there. So I'm going to do an example for you for part A. I'm going to split up five into four and one milliliter. That way I can loop the 46 and the four to easily make 50 plus my leftover one to equal 51 milliliters. Okay, go ahead and I want you to pause the video and answer B, C, and D. Don't forget to include your unit of measure. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay, hopefully you paused it and tried all of them on your own. Now remember, I might have done my math differently from you. And that's okay as long as we come to the same answer. So as long as we come to the same answer. So part B, your answer should be 47. Here's how I got it. I split up eight into one and seven so that I can loop 39 with the one and make my friendly number of 40. Then I'm gonna add this leftover seven to get my answer of 47 centimeters. Don't forget that unit of measure. I'm gonna circle my final answers. Again, you might've done it differently, which is fine as long as you got 47. Part C, 125 grams plus seven grams. I split up that seven grams into five and two so that I could loop the five with the 125 to make a friendly number of 130. Then I'm gonna add the two to easily mentally make it 132 grams. Over here, I have 108 plus four. Now, some of you may have just counted on to get your answer, but I'm gonna do my break apart strategy to make friendly numbers. 108, I only need two more to make it to my friendly number of 110. So I'm gonna split two or four into two and two. So 108 plus this two makes 110 plus my leftover two to get 112 liters. All right, how'd you do? Hopefully good, maybe you used a different strategy than me, but I'm glad you're still here on the video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.